Hey everybody, this is Matt Fish, owner and founder of Melt Barn Grill. Welcome to February. I'm growing my hair for you guys for February. Gotta stay warm, it's still nice and cold outside. But we are doing Best of Melt Month. And you guys know we've been doing this for a couple years now. I think it's, shoot, I think we're going back to almost 2010, 2009 on this bad boy. So what we do, here's, the, here's what we do for Best of Melt. These are sandwiches from our past that we've done and we took away, didn't seem to make much sense on a regular menu for us. We bring them back in Best of Melt, Melt Month because they are fan favorites. What we used to do is we would pick the four weeks of February. Obviously, there's 28 days in February, four weeks. We would take four different sandwiches, run one sandwich a week for four weeks, okay? We're doing it a little bit different this year because you guys sometimes got a little upset because, oh my gosh, my favorite sandwich of all time is the first week in February and I'm out of town and I can't get there. What am I gonna do? Well, we got you. What we're gonna do this month is we're gonna feature three different sandwiches, but we're gonna feature them for the entire month of February. That's right, 28 days, best of melt month, three different delicious melt sandwiches available all month from our past. Let's roll them down, let's roll them down. Number one is one of my favorites. It's called the Hungry Hungarian Chicken Paprikash Melt. This is the ultimate comfort food on bread. We used to do this every January for many, many years. It was our January feature. Um, and then we took it away and we brought it back for Best of Melt Month. It's been on Best of Melt Month for probably the last two or three years. Awesome fan favorite. This bad boy is so delicious. Spätzle, pulled chicken, Munster cheese, homemade paprikash sauce. There is a vegetarian version on this sandwich, which is one of my favorites. I eat it about two or three times in February. Um, this is great. Remember this guy, Hungry Hungarian Chicken Paprikash Melt, one of my faves. Moving on, the Prime Time Prime Rib Melt. Prime Time Prime Rib Melt. Say that three times fast. This is the ultimate steak sandwich. Slow roasted prime rib, garlic mashed potatoes, provolone cheese. There's a really nice rich sour cream and horseradish sauce on the side and beef au jus for dipping. And there's a vegetarian version, so we got some on this one, we've got some really thin sliced, fresh roasted prime rib. And then we use our, our seitan that we make um, on the vegetarian version. That's also one of my favorites. I will eat that several times during February. Um, prime time, prime rib melt, moving on. This is back and bigger and badder than ever. This is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Cowabunga Pizza Roll Melt. That is right. We've done this so many different times. We have so many Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle posters that John G has drawn. This guy has come back, it has left, it has come back, it has left. It actually was on the permanent menu for a while. Um, it was a monthly feature, it was a movie feature. Oh, it's, it's done every single thing it can do. A sandwich, it's achieved every goal that a sandwich can achieve at Melt Barn Grilled. But it is back again in February for Best of Melt Month. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Cowabunga Pizza Roll Melt. What is it? It's a crazy sandwich with pizza rolls on it is basically what it is. It's the ultimate Italian comfort food. Um, you come over here, you got some pizza rolls on there, you've got basil pesto, you've got a basil cream cheese, Romano cheese. Uh, we make a marinara sauce that's on there. I think I said provolone cheese. It's awesome, man. If you've had it before, you know why it's back because it's super, super awesome. If you haven't had it, get the melt in February for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Cowabunga Pizza Roll Melt. So we have three different sandwiches here. They're very diverse flavor profiles. They all come from different eras of Melt Bar and Grilled, but um, they all obviously came from our mad scientist brains that come up with Big comfort food flavors right here. Chicken paprikash melt, obviously if you're a Cleveland deer, if you're living in Ohio, I hope that you've had chicken paprikash sometime. I, I hope that one of your grandmothers or grandfathers or aunts and uncles or someone has made you chicken paprikash from a family recipe because man oh man, it is fantastic comfort food. It was one of my favorite things to eat as a kid. The uh, prime time prime rib melt. You know what, I don't really remember exactly when and how it was developed. Um, I do remember the poster was designed after uh, Mike Tyson's punch out. How did we come up with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle pizza roll, cowabunga pizza roll melt? Remember, you remember sitting when you were a kid, you got home from, from grade school 
and you were gonna sit down in front of afternoon cartoons when you got home as a kid, and your mom made you the, the Gina pizza rolls, and you dipped them in a little bit of marinara sauce or some ragu that came out of the jar, and when you took a bite, they were so atomic hot that they burned your tongue for the first time, and then you couldn't taste anything else for the rest of the day. That's what I remember as a kid. That's why I did make, that's why we made the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Cowabunga Pizza Roll Melt, and that's why we do list on the description that the pizza rolls come out of our deep fryer atomic hot because they are atomic hot. Watch yourselves, kids at home. Don't burn your tongue. So the hard question is, which is my favorite sandwich that we're featuring for the Best of Melt Month all February 2018? Um, I'm gonna do it like House Hunters because I'm, my wife and I watch House Hunters all the time. So I've got three different uh, houses here that I'm looking at and they all have great appeals to them. I really like them all but there were aspects about maybe some of them that I don't like as much so um, we gotta eliminate one first. We gotta eliminate one first so if I'm gonna go down the line here um, you know the prime time prime rib melt does have it's probably the highest uh, apartment building that we looked at you know it's definitely the taller sandwich it looks really comforting on the inside there to live in if I was to snuggle up inside of there it's probably would be really comfy and I would probably sleep really well but there was something about that sandwich I didn't like. There was just a little feeling maybe, you know, it wasn't my favorite. It's still a great sandwich, but it wasn't my favorite. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna eliminate that guy. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna come back. Now we have two different sandwiches here we're gonna look at. Um, both big sellers at Melt, both hugely popular. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle or the Hungry Hungarian Paprikash Melt. Both can be, Actually, this is vegetarian. This can be made vegetarian. Really rich flavors here. A lot of comfort food flavors going on. Man, they both look very comforting. They both are very delicious sandwiches. Believe me, I know I've tried them all. Um, if I had to say pound for pound, which one, if I was gonna have one sandwich with me for the rest of my life on a desert island, um, man, really tough call. But I think I'm gonna go back with my childhood favorite something I loved eating as a kid. I'm gonna go with the chicken paprikash. This is probably my favorite sandwich in February. Granted, they, all three of them that were running are fantastic. Um, I would marry any of them. I would live with them. We'd cohabitate. We'd have beautiful children. But this one, if I was gonna spend the rest of my life with a sandwich, it's gonna be the chicken paprikash uh, melt that we're running all February. So get to melt all February. We've got three awesome sandwiches, two seasonal sides, one signature cocktail, an awesome beer coming up in February. So check us out all February, Milk Barn Grilled locations, 10 of them in Ohio. Where are you gonna go next? Where am I gonna see you in February?